starting with a beautiful 3.5 pound chuck blade roast. You can see all the nice marbling in it. So first thing, give it a good coat of oil. Just rub it on with your hand. Then apply a good liberal coat in a rub. This is equal parts kosher salt and black pepper. Once you have a good coat in a rub applied to the beef, let's go get it on the big green egg. Just got the beef on the big green egg with the Maverick Ready Check ET732 all hooked up. So we've got the one probe inside the meat to measure the temperature and the other one on the back side of the grill. Shut the lid, let it smoke. After four hours of total cooking time, let's take a peek. Beef is looking good. After six hours of total cooking time on the big green egg, the beef chuck roast is stalled out at 149, 150 degrees. So now we're gonna braise it. So first thing we're gonna do, I chopped up two large onions, give them a sprinkling of some salt and pepper. Chopped up four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna add, this is a little over one cup of red cooking wine. And two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. There's the beef just off the big green egg. Place the beef directly in our braising pan. And gonna put on two sheets of aluminum foil. Once you have it tightly wrapped, take your temperature probe, place it back in the thickest part of the meat, down in the middle. After resting for half an hour, internal temperature still reading 192. Let's crack it open. Check that out. First thing I'm gonna do is go around, and just scoop out the onions. Place them in the bowl here. Cut the butcher's twine, gently remove it. Now it's ready to be pulled. Grab a couple forks, just start in the middle, start pulling it apart. You can see it's got that nice smoke ring on it. Pulled beef all done and ready to serve. Check that out. Nice smoke ring. Let's take a piece. Hmm. A little bit more. <laughs> Top it with some of the onions. And some mozzarella cheese. Nice toasted bun, some yellow mustard, I'm in heaven.